it's gone. Like I knew. And then as soon as I got up and started walking, I was like, oh yeah, it's not fine. And it's annoying because I've done that tackle so many times. I guess just the one time that just goes, you know? The hi, I'm Grace Wisniewski. Um, I'm a midfielder for the Wellington Phoenix. I've been playing for the Phoenix for three years now. Um, I first joined Phoenix in 2021, so the first season when we flew. I think I only found out, like it was very quickly, like I, it was we're in COVID, I found out I'd made like the squad and then moved from Wellington to Wollongong. I think when I look back at the first season, I've changed a lot personally and like even as a footballer I think and it was like I wouldn't change the first season for anything. I think I learned a lot about myself um, and like football in general. Like I think if I didn't go through that first season, I don't think I'd be still sitting here now and like talking about the football stuff. So yeah, I don't know, it was challenging, but it was a good experience as well. It's actually weird. I remember before this game, I was um, like doing the warm up and I was like, my legs feel so weird. Like I was like, I just like, I felt so tired and just everything. That was pain, let me tell you. <laughs> it was so sore. But unfortunately we've seen a player go down and it's not looking too good. We'll get another look at it here on the replay and just see what happens. So I tackled with my right leg, but my left leg I guess just got like stuck in the ground and kind of like twisted in. And I remember, I've watched this so many times and I remember like the commentators always are like, you know, she's, it's knee on knee kind of thing. And like my knee didn't hit hers, but like not the right one. Like it was the right one. So my left knee just, yeah, it's weird. Like it wasn't even the contact knee that kind of did it. My name's Jamie Hassett. I'm the uh, rehab physiotherapist working with the uh, um, Australia's A-Leagues men's and women's. I was actually sitting behind the dugout, so I saw the whole kind of thing unfold um, from the bench is reacting to the players, to even her kind of having that initial facial emotional reaction as well. Um, initially, for me, it was it was a sense of shock and a sense of kind of wanting to help. Um, from when she got carried off to the field, we took her inside, did a little quick assessment there. I remember I was walking and Kelly had come down and she was walking off with me and then we eventually just got the um, little cart thing. It was quite fun. Um, to the change room and I actually went to the medical room straight away and Jamie was in there and Corey was in there and they were kind of like doing the knee thing and I remember just, I was just like just tell me like I was like just tell me like I was like it's like you guys can I know you guys know and they were like no like they were like we think you've like you know but we don't know like and stuff like that but then I kind of I just rang my mum I grabbed Kelly's phone I rang my mum and I was like I'm fine, like, I was like, it's fine, because they were away on holiday, so I kind of was like, cause they usually come to all the home games, but they didn't to that one. I was kind of hiding away at half time, like I didn't want to distract anyone, and like I know we had a game to play, so I was just kind of like, you guys do your thing, we can chat about it after. Um, and yeah, the physio spoke to me at half time, and we talked about it, but obviously nothing was, they didn't say anything, and at the end of the game they were like, yeah, give it up your ACL. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they were like, well, not 100%, like you still have to go get the MRI and stuff. But. An ACL injury um, is a, an injury to the sort of anterior crucial ligament of the knee, which is your, your key player in terms of stabilising and keep, keeping that knee functional. Um, its main job is to kind of keep you stable when you're doing your rotation, through pivoting, change direction, cutting, all that sort of jazz. In regards to football, it's actually one of the key players on the field in terms of you helping, like I said, change the direction, pivot, cut, all that sort of jazz. Leading up to the injury, I mean, it was the first, I think, maybe 22 seconds or something of that in the game where she kind of had that, that fall and tumble in the tackle. Um, and for her, it was, it was going into that challenge, her pivoting, her changing direction, which kind of forced that knee into a vulnerable position, and then the subsequent ACL kind of giving way and rupturing that moment. Since I did it, I've just been like quite motivated and quite like, nah, like I've got it kind of thing. I, the next day I came in and gymmed, because I was like, I might as well. Like, I was like, I went in and I was like, I didn't play the game, like, Karen, can you give me a match replacement? Like, so we were doing like ropes and I was like sitting down doing ropes. Um, but 
yes, like something that helps me and like fuels me would be like just working out and doing stuff. So I guess, although it's not ideal, like I can still go to the gym and go to this place and do whatever in the recovery sense. So yeah, it like has sucked, but it's also been like quite a, not fun time, but like quite a good time for me to be like, okay, let's work on other aspects of my game and stuff like that.